Some of Ken Smith's medical records going back to 2015 where he had a heart surgery, a stroke, and some psychiatric appointments. He was in the hospital from a suicide attempt uh, in January of 2017. In 2016, he left a lot of meetings crying and uncontrollably and uh, just break down in tears. Uh, the first hospitalization was for about three days in a psychiatric hospital. And it was uh, February that uh, so many documents were signed uh, about a lot of the assets. Uh, and then he committed, tried to commit suicide again in March. A lot of medical changes, uh, again, just a, a lot of uncontrollable behavior. Thought the IRS was after him and wouldn't go outside or, or go places. And this video is in February after the first suicide attempt showing uh, in the morning and then in the evening uh, of that same day. Come here and take your medicine. Come over here. Ken, come over here and take your medicine. Oh, God. Oh, I can't do this, Dad. Oh, it was this same month, February of 2017, of this video when uh, Kathleen came to the home and had many of the uh, financial transactions completed. And, uh, of course, uh, her statement is that he was of sound mind and capable, competent to make decisions up and through uh, October of 2017. This is, this is February of 2017 and uh, clearly incapable of making proper decisions, and it just got worse. It was just about a month later after this video that he did try the second suicide attempt. He was in uh, psychiatric and ho other hospitals for over 30 days and um, actually uh, tried to escape from the hospital, uh, thinking that the IRS had uh, followed him there and, and caught him at the hospital. Uh, that during this time, Ken would not shower, he wouldn't shave or eat. He lost some 50 pounds during this time period. And again, the video was just about um, within a week or 10 days of all the financial documents being signed. Uh, he couldn't, wasn't capable of going to Kathleen's office, so she came to the house and had him sign the house away and sign the big, the Jackson uh, account over to the trust. And her statement is that he was capable of making these kinds of decisions.